Hey you guys, I hope you all are doing well. Today's wig is brought to you by Hair Soul Fly Shop, so I'll be sure to leave a link below to this wig, their direct store, and also their wig blog. The brand of this wig is sensational. This is from their Dashley wig line. This is a lace front wig. The style that I have is Unit 7 in the color T2 slash copper. I think this color will be so gorgeous for the fall time, and I hope you guys like it. This wig is available in other colors. I'm sorry that my camera had this glow glare. So just feel free if you're interested, click the website and you'll see all the colors that's available on there. This is how the curls look straight out of the box. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. You get your parting on the right side. Your parting is made up of Swiss lace. You get two combs in the front by the temple. You also get another comb in the back with adjustable straps. The parting looks really nice on this wig, so I'm not gonna go in and pluck it. So I hope nobody gets mad at me for this, but to be honest, I'm not really a fan of how the curls look straight out of the box. I'm just using a wide tooth comb to see if it'll help define the curls a little bit more. To me, when the curls just like that, it just looks a little wiggy and fake and ugh. So I'm just like lightly combing it out. This wig definitely comes with a shine. So to dim down the shine, I'm gonna go in with my Kenra Dry Volume Shampoo and just spray this all over the hair and then combing out one more time. This wig pretty much already comes with layers, but to just frame my face a little bit more, I'm just going in and adding some more layers in the front. Alright you guys, so now I am going to take my Ruby Kisses, no it's not a powder, it's a foundation slash concealer. I'm going to take some of this and I already went ahead and cut the lace off camera. I'm going to take some of this product and apply it underneath the lace. I applied the product but for some reason it's just not standing out so later on I might go add a little bit more product to the lace on top. So this right here is like a curved edge brush. I'm sorry that you cannot see it. My camera is just acting so stupid. But um, you didn't really miss nothing to be honest because I was trying my hardest to style these baby hairs. But to be honest, it just wasn't working for me. I don't know where I was going with this. But in the end, I figured out a little ting or whatever. And it looks pretty decent. <laughs> Stay tuned.
at one point i just turned off the camera and swooped the baby hairs and this is pretty much my end result and it's really cute like i think this color is really cute for fall if i'm correct i believe fall is tomorrow a monday and the layers is so gorgeous too like when i was combing out the hair i did not get any tangles as for shedding shedding is uh did i get any shedding I don't really remember. I believe I got some shedding, but I don't believe it was hectic. I feel like it's shedding a lot of people can handle. The size on this wig is big head friendly. The material do stretch. If you have a small head, just crisscross the adjustable straps or tie the adjustable straps. And also the length of this wig on me, I would say it's about 22 to 24 inches. My height is a 5'6". And like I said before, this wig does come with a shine. So you could use like baby powder or even dry shampoo to dim down the shine and the density to me the density is like medium to thick not too heavy not too low it's like right in between it's really nice and gorgeous and i love the fact that i could like comb out the curls and then they just bounce right back i love that a lot of synthetic wigs don't do that so this synthetic gut is looking nice and the lace blends in pretty well with my skin so if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, you guys.